I know there's some physical collectors out there for video games and I got a great one to share with you. This is Blazing Rangers from First Press Games and this is an awesome uh, physical release for the NES. Tons of extras, lots of different versions of the releases. This is the American Standard Edition and lots of goodies included. That coin is awesome. This company also published Project Blue. I covered that a little bit on my channel. Amazing aftermarket game. And so these are just high quality releases. They would stand next to standard releases of the NES back in the day. And First Print Games has a whole bunch of extras that they throw in. And it really makes them a quality company that offers high quality products for video games. They do, they do more than retro too. You can check out their website. They have many other games that they offer. This is just one of them. This is the newest one. And uh, this is the amazing game on top of everything. And how cool is that box? An homage to classic Capcom for the NES. Uh, even has a challenge series on the back. And this is just great. This is just a really cool game. Really excited to share this game. You can get this on digital. Uh, as well as it on itch.io for $12.99. Using a letter opener, quick, you can easily open up boxes without uh, creasing them. This is a promotional copy they sent me and to talk about their game and standard warranty card, but it looks like original NES release. I mean, this, if this was on the shelf next to other Capcom releases, it would blend right in. Even the manual is an homage to Capcom with that certain print look and looks looks great and so this works on uh, regular NES hardware and all FPGA uh, it's not guaranteed to work on clones and so uh, but yeah the, even the manual the artwork inside is is just like an NES manual and there's the cart and sleeve and awesome looking definitely can't wait to check out the gameplay as you know I'm a big fan of these types of games these one screen action games here we go Blazing Rangers has lots of different options it has both one and two player options to play and there is co-op play too so I, I think that's awesome uh, game B is a little bit more challenging I'm gonna do the standard uh, normal mode single player and you're going around you're uh, putting out fires and rescuing people you have a limit on water and you have to avoid enemies and projectiles and flames that come from them. A lot of fun here. <clears throat> 32 levels and you rescue the people. There is a time limit and then you have to then find the exit. And there you go. Round one done. So then you progress to the next level. Really nice graphics and sound. Uh, this is done with Mapper Zero. The earliest uh, release NES cartridges used Mapper Zero, so this is uh, with with many limitations a well done game. Just this is fun, one screen gaming, and you know classic NES releases. Some people that's some of their favorite games on the consoles. These early, early old school releases, and uh, this is a, definitely an homage to those. And it's fantastic. Great music, great graphics, great gameplay. Just well done. And I know these are the types of games that I like to play with a friend. I definitely could play easily play this with a friend and, and enjoy it quite a bit. So lots of lots of great gaming here. And if you're an NES collector, you can get this on physical. It is on digital as well on itch.io for $12.99 for people who want to go the digital route. Very cool that they're offering that. Just thought I'd share some early gameplay as you know uh, people might be curious about this maybe people have not heard about this um, I really really enjoy these types of games uh, you know uh, I had a family member that was a firefighter and uh, definitely uh, honor those who uh, protect us and save us from harm uh, firefighters have very dangerous jobs and so I've always enjoyed firefighting video games I typically try to try it uh, some especially some of the classic ones out as well lots of different power-ups too and I, things you can get uh, certain doors have keys you have to get the keys 
to unlock the doors. So yeah, really enjoy this one. Trying to get this key here. The levels obviously get more involved and more enemies and obstacles to avoid. Alright, round four, here we go. Just wanted to show uh, some of the early levels. Sins there, I think. Okay. Oh! Can't touch those. Instant burn. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. See if I can get through this level. by those roaming flames. Capturing footage on an ABS. Uh, really great affordable FPGA for, for the NES. Really, I've had mine several years and it's just been great. Oh, I'm out of water. Okay, I see. Push B. Okay, alright. This game is different every time you play it, too. I want to mention that. Randomly generated hazards make this a different gaming experience every time you play it. And so this is still available. And you can pick this up at the First Press Games online store. Shipping worldwide as well with many different options. I'm going to share that with you at the end of this video. Definitely like this game and what do you think is this something that you would play in the comments below let me know and i want to thank everybody for coming to my channel if you like what you see consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as i'm providing lots of different content from atari to xbox homebrew and aftermarket games as well as modern gaming and i like to do a little bit of this a little bit of that so if you're interested Go check out the First Press Games online store. Here are the many different options. Uh, the standard edition is €54.99, and you can choose which option you want. Thank you for watching. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.